My name is Crystal Jones. I work at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, and this is my story. Uh, as the center risk manager uh, here at KSC, I'm responsible for ensuring that center risks, institutional risks are identified, assessed, mitigated or controlled, and um, communicated and tracked. Institutional risks are risks that um, could affect KSC's assets, the personnel, the facilities, the infrastructure, or could impact um, programs and projects here at KSC. The value of this position is it helps ensure safety across the center and it ensures that KSC is able to support NASA's mission of space exploration by enabling commercial and government uh, access to space. I had a very difficult childhood. Um, both of my parents were drug addicts and um, as their addiction progressed, things in our family life started to spiral out of control. Um, I remember probably when I was about 10 years old, our family was homeless and we had to sleep in an abandoned bus it was probably the coldest night of my life and uh, I was tired and hungry and couldn't sleep and uh, luckily when morning came we were admitted to a homeless shelter and uh, we stayed at the homeless shelter for about a year and my parents both were able to get clean from drugs for a while but uh, fell right back into their old habits and uh, as their drug addiction got worse, they began to sell drugs in order to support their habit and became more and more focused on drugs rather than family and kids. I went to seven different elementary schools, three different middle schools, and um, it was challenging. I knew that that wasn't the lifestyle that I wanted for my life. and that something needed to change. And I would frequently go out in my front yard where there is a large rock and just stare up at the stars and wonder about the universe. And my love for astronomy began to develop. I would look at the constellations. I would check out books at the library about astronomy. And uh, this passion really spurred me to want to change my life and then just took those small steps that it took to reach my goal of going to college so that I could change my life and blaze a new path for my siblings and show them that that life wasn't carved in stone. We didn't have to stay there. Uh, I arrived at Florida Tech with one suitcase and not knowing anybody. It was terrifying and exhilarating at the same time. I've always been a real shy person, and um, when I got to Florida Tech, I was just so excited to be there that I kind of blossomed and came out of my shell and wanted to meet people. Also uh, joined a sorority, Alpha Phi, and growing up, you know, I never stayed in one place very long, so it was hard to develop lasting, deep friendships with people, and the sorority um, helped me learn how to be a friend and to create those relationships with people. I met my husband at Florida Tech and he had a job in Melbourne and when I graduated um, I wanted to stay near him and so I looked at Kennedy Space Center. I always wanted, dreamed of working for NASA. Uh, I was hired on as a contractor in 2006 and I worked in safety and mission assurance and I was actually a contractor for Johnson Space Center um, supporting from KSC. I would uh, review anything that was coming forward for the space shuttle program to the um, program requirements and control board and give a safety and mission assurance um, recommendation to NASA managers at JSC that were sitting on the control board. In 2008, 
a position, civil service position, opened up at KSC. And I was encouraged by KSC management that I had worked with to go ahead and apply. And I think the hard work and dedication that I had and just the pride that I put into my job uh, led them to notice me and to encourage me to apply. So I did apply for the position and fortunately was hired on as a civil servant. I just love working for NASA. It's a great place to work and every day I'm just excited to come to work and to be a part of NASA's mission. I also love working at KSC because it's a place where you could see the fruits of your labor culminate in a launch that's just spectacular. The advice I'd give young women um, from similar circumstances is to always believe in yourself that your neighborhood, project, barrio, your parents, your siblings, they don't define who you are and your path. You are your, your own unique person and you're capable of great things.